Hey there, students. I uh, wanted to show you how to find probabilities for a binomial distribution using StatCrunch. So I'm um, looking at our homework problem number 20, which is from Chapter 5, Section 2 in the text. It says, based on a poll, among adults who regret getting tattoos, 13% say they were too young when they got their tattoos. Assume that nine adults who regret getting tattoos are randomly selected and find the indicated probability, complete parts A through D below. And the first part is find the probability that none of the selected adults say that they were too young to get tattoos. So in general, when we look at this problem, we want to first of all be able to recognize that this is a binomial distribution because that's how we then know to use the tools for probabilities for a binomial distribution. And so what we can see about this is that at each time we are selecting adults, we are finding out one of two things, whether they feel they were too young or not. And this is one of those dual choices. There's only two choices available for each of our selections, so you can label one a success and one a failure. And each time you pick a person, there's a 13% likelihood they would say that they were too young. Um, and so if that's the case, then that doesn't change every time you pick a person. Uh, so that makes this a repeated procedure with only two possible outcomes with the same probability of success each time. These are the criteria you need to meet for this to satisfy being a binomial distribution. And so when we recognize that, then we know we're going to use the tool for calculating probabilities for a binomial distribution in StatCrunch. Now, they, they just describe the situation here. There's no data to work with. So we have to open up StatCrunch directly, which we can do from question help is the easiest way to do that. Then once I've opened up uh, StatCrunch, I want to be able to find the calculator for calculating probabilities with a binomial distribution. So I'm going to go to stat calculators binomial, stat calculators binomial. And this is the tool. So it comes with a default. And the defaults say how many trials are being run at 10, what the probability of a success is at 50%. Like, so this default is like you flipped a coin 10 times and counted how many times you got heads or something like that. So we need to fill in the situational uh, values, like 13% for too young. Um, and then we can answer questions like, what is the probability that a randomly selected variable would be in a certain range or have a certain value? And it'll tell us those probabilities. So uh, let's say we're going to label someone who regrets getting a tattoo as a success. There's 13% likelihood of that. So I'm going to change the 50% default here to 13%. And we are talking to nine folks, I believe it is, nine adults, it says. So I'm going to change the 10 to a 9. So the first question is the probability that none of the selected adults say they were too young. So saying they were too young is the ones who regretted it. So that means none of the, adult, the adults were a success, according to my p-value being 13%. So uh, that to be none of them, that would be that x is equal to 0. So if I type that in whoops, and go compute, so it shows me a little picture and it shows the probability of each of the results from 0 up to 9 even. Let's see if I can get more on the table. Uh, it's just showing up through 6 by default. Um, so it has a probability of 0 equaling 28.5 you know, percent. So we're supposed to round to four decimal places, and they want the probability, not the percentage. So if I grab the first four numbers, I get 0 0.2855. Put those in. All right, so in part A, we were asked to find the probability that none of them were a success, that none of them said they were too young. So then in B, it says the probability that exactly one says that he or she was too young. So I would change the equal to 0 to equal to 1. And that they want to four decimals. So I'll grab that. Uh, 
And then in C, they want the probability number selected at all, say they were too young, is 0 or 1. So I could add up those two probabilities, because here's that it was 0, here's that it was 1, and if it's 0 or 1, we could add those up. But again, the calculator will do that for us by instead of saying equal to 1, I say less than or equal to 1, because the numbers less than or equal to 1 are 0 or 1, and you can see them now both highlighted in red, and the probability is given, so to four decimal places, 6695, but the... 5 is followed by another 5, so I have to round that last digit up to a 6. And then the last part is, if we randomly select 9 adults, is 1 a significantly low number who say that they were too young to get tattoos? So we have to remember what significantly low or high is. That's typically 5%. So... I would say, is that significantly low? No, because one was like, one or less is over 60%. So I would say no. The probability of getting uh, at most one, let's see, double check here, Nine is one significantly no, meaning one or less. So getting at most one would be zero, one of selected adults to say they were too young is greater than 5%. All right, so this was a, a problem number 20 from the homework, and we used the binomial uh, distribution calculator tool to calculate a variety of probabilities. So I hope that helps. Keep up the hard work.